Nice. You know what? I, I got a question for you guys. Um, it, it seems to me, in my life, my observations, that, that men and women seem to express love very differently, don't we? <laughs> like, it seems that men usually express love when they're in the street and they don't know you. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was walking down the street once. Man stopped me. He was like, oh, hey, baby. Uh, girl, you're looking good enough to eat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I would imagine that was supposed to be a compliment. <laughs> but it made me feel like a Kentucky Fried Chicken value meal. <laughs> you know, like two breasts, two legs, a biscuit, burnt french fries. <laughs> and some people say it's what a woman wears that gets the attention. I don't believe that. I think right. we could leave the house wearing a suit of armor. <laughs> you know what we're gonna hear? Hey, baby, how you doing? I got a can opener. See, I'm scared, because I know there's at least one guy in here going, ooh, that's a good line. I got to write that down. <laughs> Gentlemen, no, please do not misunderstand what I'm saying. I will tell you right now that we as women love compliments from you. We do love when you notice. We just like it to seem like you put a little thought into it. OK? Because when I was in college, I had this guy walk up to me, and he was smooth, OK? He was like, Excuse me, miss, I couldn't help but notice that your exquisite ensemble contains the colors of the Ethiopian and Somalian flags. Are you celebrating their recent peace treaty signing, ending 11 years of border hostility, my sister? Ooh. How you doing? Y'all, in the back of my mind, I was like, girl, you got to jump on him. He read the New York Times. Because <laughs> you know what, y'all? I love smart men. That's my weakness. You know what? Looks and money are fine. I just prefer to know that a man is in his right mind, OK? <laughs> I can't be dating no crazy people, all right? I'm off of slipping in a little psychological exam on somebody, you know, like, Baby, look at this picture. Tell me what you see. <laughs> you stabbing me? I got to go. <laughs> and you know what? Some people think I'm picky. I'm not picky. I just know what I like. Right? I like smart, sane, good hygiene. Look at here. If a man's body odor is strong enough to reach out and smack me in the face. I think that should be considered domestic violence, don't y'all? are hard. You got to go in knowing what you like. You really do. I read a wonderful book that said all relationships need something called the three C's. Chemistry, compatibility, and commitment. And I believe that. You need all three. Because if you just have chemistry, you just have sex. And that's fine if that's what you want. That's all you're going to get. You just have compatibility. You just have a friend. You have commitment. You got a stalker. <laughs> On, a, on occasion, I run into women who seem to think that the three C's are cash, check, and credit. What the hell? I'm sorry, I side with the men on this. I don't think it's fair that we always expect men to pay for dates, okay? Really, seriously, see, the cheap men agree with me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But you know what, I actually sat down. I put the shoe on the other foot and I said, you know what, if I had to pay for dates all the time, I'd start expecting a man to put out. I'd be 
like, oh, dinner and a movie? Oh, I think I need to see some booty. <laughs> Stop crying, get naked. <laughs> well, now you shouldn't have had the popcorn. <laughs> 